Hey everyone, Chris Cusimano here, your go-to real estate professional. And with 2018 almost in the rear view mirror, let's take a look at what's gonna happen in the real estate market in 2019. If you're interested in knowing all about it, you're in the right spot. Stay here. The number one question I get when I'm out and about with friends is, hey Chris, how is the real estate market? And if you listen to a lot of my colleagues or, or read a lot of the news that's going around about the real estate market, you'll be led to believe that 2018 was horrible and that 2019 and beyond are going to be even worse. We're going to dive into a recession. We're all going to lose our homes. But the truth be told, that's not the case. See, this is the chart of the housing market on a national level. And you'll see that 2018 did get a softening in terms of real estate sales as opposed to 2017. However, Freddie Mac, the National Association of Realtors and the Mortgage Bankers Association are all predicting that next Next year is actually going to be better than last year and Fannie Mae is saying that next year is going to be better than this year and here in Florida sales have actually gone up in 2018 and so did the prices and inventory is actually pretty stable so where are all these people getting these dire warnings about the future well it's because appreciation has slowed see there's a difference between a market coming down and a market softening but by no means have sales gone down. Days on market have gone up and the overpriced listings here in Florida are, are not selling as quickly. And the good news is that buyers are still there. See this chart here shows what's called the foot traffic or is an indicator of what the buyers are doing in the market now. And they're still there. The problem is that the rates have gone up and the price have gone up so high that they are just uncomfortable making a, making a leap in the purchase. And also I can test that my buyers, when they're seeing property set on the market for two, three, four weeks, there's no motivation to run to that property. And a bad habit that a lot of sellers are doing with their real estate agents is listing the property way too high. The buyers just don't have an appetite for that. Which by the way, the data clearly shows that that is never the best strategy if you wanna to get top dollar from your house, regardless of the type of market we're in. So the truth be told, is the housing market going to crash in the next five years? Well, the data still suggests otherwise. If you look at this chart right here for over the next five years, we're still gonna appreciate just not at a pace that we were used to before. But this chart's a little screwy. It takes the averages of all homes. So it's very important to note that the lower price properties are gonna appreciate more than the higher price properties. It's, it's simply a supply and demand. But overall in Florida, we're doing pretty good in real estate health. So there's not a lot to worry about. So what does this mean to you, whether you're buying or selling a house? Well, if you're a buyer, that means you really shouldn't be waiting for the next market to crash. It's just not gonna happen anytime soon. The rates are gonna go up, the prices are going to go up. So if you're planning on buying, now is the time to buy. Don't wait for the future, it's gonna get much, much pricier for you. And then you're gonna be able to afford a less desirable home. So what does this mean to you if you're a seller and you think about selling your home? Well, the truth is the, the homes are still gonna appreciate over the next couple of years, albeit at a very modest pace compared to what we've been used to. However, right now the inventory is pretty low on a national average. So if you wanna take advantage of those motivated buyers who are still looking for that ideal home and you don't wanna compete with the spring rush of all the people selling right before school ends or during that time, then this may be the perfect time for you to, to sell your home. So if you take a look at this chart, you can see that this is truly the sweet spot when it comes to inventory if you're trying to sell. We have it everyone, a basic snapshot, what to expect in 2019 and beyond. I hope you found this video very enjoyable and informative. If you have any questions, you wanna reach out to me for any more details on your specific neighborhood or house, just give me a call. My phone number is 561-289-9305, it's below here. My email is also below, you can reach out at any time.